we have the figure QRST, and it is a parallelogram. Remember, parallelograms have two sets of parallel lines. So QR is parallel to ST, and QT is parallel to RS, which means that they, those lines segments will never intersect. We also have learned throughout our hands-on activities that in a parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. So angle S is congruent to angle Q, and angle R will be congruent to angle T. We have also learned that the, line, the angles between parallel lines equal 180 degrees. So angle R and angle S, the sum of those would equal 180 degrees. The sum of angles S and T would equal 180 degrees, and so on throughout our parallelogram. For this problem, they're asking us to find the measurement of angle E. In order to do that, we are going to use the properties of parallelograms that helped us figure out that angles between parallel lines equal 180 degrees. So that tells me that the measurement of angle R plus the measurement of angle S are going to equal 180 degrees. They have told me the measurement for angle S and they have told me part of the measurement for angle R. But I don't know exactly what angle R is altogether quite yet. But once I do my subtraction, I figure out that angle R equals 125 degrees. So now I can figure out what this missing piece is of angle R. Remember that the sum of 42 and E is going to equal 125 degrees. Since I know my whole in one part, I need to subtract those two in order to find the missing part. So 125 minus 42, and that equals 83. So the measurement of angle E is 83 degrees.